outside of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today we have a walrus and a warthog on the show. Uh, gee, Jake, don't you think folks would rather see cute animals? Cuter than a walrus and a warthog? Yeah, I mean, those animals aren't exactly viewer-friendly. Well, Stinky, but, but all animals are beautiful in their own way. Uh, Ollie Armstrong, could you show us a picture of a walrus, please? Right, well, here's one. Uh, well, uh, what about a picture of a warthog? Right, well, here's one of those. Those are cute? Well, sure, uh, and maybe you'll think so too once you get to know them. Well, they'll <laughs> never be cuter than skunks. We'll see about that when we get back from this. And now it's time for... That's amazing! <laughs> Today, hey, look at sunburned walruses. Whoa, get out the extra large bottle of sunblock. Mm. Walruses can get sunburned if they sit in the sun too long. The sunburn turns them pink. Oh, that's smart. That's why walruses are always looking for a shady spot, even if there's another walrus already there. <laughs> the walrus. Eh, another animal whose sunburn will make you say... Yeah. Mm. That's amazing! A pink walrus? Well, don't worry, Stinky. Wow. Our first guest doesn't have a sunburn. Mm. And I should know because we're neighbors up in the Arctic. Here he is from, from the, the Arctic, Arctic Circle. Circle. Mm, Bubba, Bubba the, the Walrus! Oh, these mussels are delicious. I certainly hope I've brought enough with me. Just a couple more and I'll stop. Well, it's great to see you, Bubba. Yeah, it's great, Bubba. Oh, thank you, Jake. Thank you, Stinky. Uh, would you care for a muscle? Um, oh. uh, no, no, thank you. Oh, well then, at least let me show you one of my favorite spots Whoa. for getting muscles. Turn around. Yes, Ooh. there it is. A lovely island just off the Arctic coast. Ooh. And way down there, you'll see my fellow walruses. On the waterfront. Oh, looks like that walrus has a sunburn. Oh, yes. Uh, that's Carmine. He never knows enough to find some shade. Gosh, uh, it's tough enough to find a place to sit. Yeah, well, we walruses like to be together. There can be as many as a thousand of us in a herd. I just gotta know, do you ever stick each other with your tusks? Oh, not often. Oh, every once in a while someone gets a little careless. But we walrus are very peaceful creatures. Uh, say, would you two like some mussels? Uh, uh, no thanks. I really shouldn't. We're dying. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. Well, and I'd really rather not find out. Now <laughs> listen, Bubba, why don't you tell us a little more about your tusks? Yeah, why do you have tusks? Was your mother an elephant or what? <laughs> oh, no, Stinky. All walruses have tusks. We use them for digging. Well, what do you dig? Oh, we dig clams and other shellfish that we find underwater. Oh, we dig around with our tusks, then use our whiskers to sort out the food. How exactly does that work? Oh, well, our whiskers are stiff like the bristles on a brush. Oh, we use them to hold down our food while we eat. You know, oh, we walrus are big clam eaters. Why, a walrus can eat about 800 clams in a single day. <laughs> yup, yup. <laughs> so, Bubba, what do you do besides eat, lie on the beach, and get uh, sunburns? Oh, well, we swim in the ocean. After all, that's where we get our food. Oh, are you good swimmers? Oh, we may not look like it when we're on the beach, but once a walrus gets in the water, we're very graceful. As for me, I would rather stay on the beach and, you know, eat. And muscles. muscles, yeah. Oh, how did you know that? <laughs> well, aren't you afraid that if you eat too many muscles, you'll get, you know, chubby? Oh, but stinky, we need our fat. You do? Sure. It's called blubber. And blubber is what keeps us warm up in the frozen Arctic. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. No wonder you're cold. You're sitting on a block of ice. Why are you doing that? Oh, we're hitching a ride. Up to the Arctic? Right, Jake. We go up there every summer, and we ride on those large hunks of ice. Oh, it's much easier than swimming. What happens if you get hungry during the ride? Oh, well, we just dive in the water and look for food. Well, thanks for that look at walruses, Bubba. Yeah, oh, walruses mm. may not be as cute as skunks, but you're still pretty neat. <laughs> Oh, thanks, fellas. Uh, would you care for muscle? Uh, uh, no, thanks. No. Oh, well, no. all right, take care. Mm. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Ooh, bye. bye. <laughs> and now, here are a couple of hungry warthogs on Baby, Baby Talk. Talk. Hi, are you thirsty? 
thirsty? Yeah, I'm gonna go find something to drink. Children, snack time. Oh, good. Hey, come on, let's go. It's snack time. Oh, I love snack time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, you little warthoglets. Uh, Wilbur on my right and Dolores on my left. Mm, mm, Mom, this is really delicious. I love snack time. Mom, this is the best snack you've ever made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your snacks are my old-time favorite. Yeah, mm. and the last drop is the best. Yum, yum. Mm. Well, I'm full now. Mm. Mm. Boy, oh, that was good. Now what should we do? Oh, sorry. Oh, nice one, Wilbur. Now settle down with me over here. You know, a warthog needs its beauty wrath. Oh, Ma, do I have to? Well, of course you do, dear. Oh, okay. Uh, well, at least those shells are gone, mm. but it still smells like mussels in here. Oh. Maybe I should just, uh... No, 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 no. Uh, it's time for tusks. Fella came along, tried to knock me flat. Everybody told me, son, you can't beat that. But oh, woo, I knew I was good. Wop, bop, doodly bop, I showed him I could. Wop, bop, doodly bop, I showed him I could. You know, a fella started drumming with a rat a tat tat. Fella told me, sonny boy, you can't beat that. But oh, woo, I knew I was good. And oh, I showed him I could You know you gotta be someone You gotta be strong When you got the good You know you can't do anything wrong Along in a big top hat Said, sonny boy, you know you can't top that But oh, woo, I knew I was good Bop, bop, doodly bop I showed him I could Bop, bop, doodly bop I showed him I could Hey, if you lose a tusk, does a tusk fairy come? Good question <laughs> oh, And here comes another good question <laughs> Whoa, what's the question, Tiz? Here it is! Ooh, the question! What does a walrus use its whiskers for? Think about it! I'll be back in a buzz! Oh, what was the question? I can't remember! Have you been busy? <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, Tizzy. But... Yeah, yeah, but we need to hear the question again. Yeah. Here it is! The walrus use its whiskers for? The answer? It uses them to hold down food when it's eating. Believe it! Young walruses have whiskers so long and strong that they can hold fish down with them while they eat. But walruses aren't the only animals with whiskers. This is a catfish. Look at its long, long whiskers. And this is a kangaroo rat. It's daytime, so it's asleep. But look at those long whiskers. Can you see the whiskers on this sugar glider? And what about this possum? This little harvest mouse goes out in the dark and uses his whiskers to feel his way around. And the fox uses its whiskers to feel any movement. If you have whiskers, then you know how wonderful they are. Hmm, have we ever gotten the answer to one of Tizzy's quizzes? Yes, but it wasn't the right answer. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, now it's time for Eve St. LaRoche. Ooh, I hope he's not making muscles. I nearly got it. Oh! <clears throat> <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, my petit animal friends. 
Now, you are probably wondering, why is Eve wearing those silly tusks? Well, today I will answer a question I am asked so very often. Eve, you ask, how do I eat spaghetti with the tusks? Well, you big sillies, it is easy when you know how. Follow me. <laughs> now, to eat the spaghetti with the tusks, you simply... <clears throat> no, wait, uh, let me try that again. To get the spaghetti, you simply put the tusks in the bowl and... <clears throat> ah! Ah, there is only one way to eat spaghetti with or without the tusks. <clears throat> Voila! <laughs> Eating spaghetti with the tusks. Well, bon appetit. And remember, a tisket, a tasket. Spaghetti on your tusk is worth two in the basket. <laughs> Anyone have any parmesan cheese? <laughs> Thanks, Eve. Thank you, Eve. And now it's time for our next guest, the warthog. Jake, warthogs are definitely not as cute as skunks. Well, at least they don't eat mussels. <laughs> Bring them on. And now, from the forest and jungles of Africa, Africa. here is Bernice, the warthog. Whoa. try that spaghetti eating trick. <laughs> oh, where do I go? Oh, uh, uh, right over here, Bernice. Yeah, hi, Bernice. <laughs> All right, so what do you want to know about the tusks, the snout, the warts, how I stay so beautiful? Well, we want to hear everything. Yeah, yeah, warts and all. Well, then, have a look at this. Okay. Oh. Now, uh, where's that warthog? I know she's back there somewhere. Th there she is. I see her. Oh, gee, Bernice. Why does she have those warts on her face? Because otherwise we couldn't call ourselves warthogs. <laughs> Actually, Stinky, those warts help protect our eyes and jaws when we get into fights. Oh. Well, do, do warthogs get into lots of fights? No, but if other animals threaten us, a warthog can be as tough as any animal out there. Mm. Now, where do most warthogs live? Hmm. Well, usually in the jungle or forest, but always near a water hole. We warthogs don't need as much water as some animals, but we do need to get a drink every day. Is drinking water how warthogs cool down? Oh, that's just one way. Well, how else do you keep cool? By wallowing in the mud, of course. Ooh, I love mud. Well, mud is very important for warthogs because we can sweat. You can't sweat. That's right. We have no sweat glands like humans and most other animals. So we need that mud to help keep us cool. But uh, between you and me, sweat or no sweat, we warthogs just love mud. Oh, who doesn't? <laughs> hey, hey, which do you prefer, Stinky? Mud baths or mud wallows? Gee, well, now that's a tough choice. Mud baths are so much squishier. Mm, but mud wallows have good texture. Uh, excuse you? me for interrupting, but hmm? could we continue? Oh, oh uh, yes, sorry. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Now, you see, when a warthog runs, our tails stick straight up in the air. Uh, does having your tail up in the air serve any special purpose? Oh, yes. I think it looks rather dashing. Well, yeah, <laughs> that does sort of look cool. See, I could do it too. Oh, uh, like yes, that's just very nice, Stinky. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but I believe Bernice has some other things to show us. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. I wanted you to see this. It's more pictures of mud. Ooh, mud, all right. Now, that's a great mud wallow. Yes, it's one of my favorites. You must come and visit sometime. Ooh, that'd be great. Hey, you want to come too, Jake? No, thanks. I'm more into snow myself. Gee. Look at this. Even Mom's playing in the mud. Of course. Don't all mothers play in the mud? Oh, well, my mom doesn't like it when I track mud into the burrow. Oh, warthogs are the same way. We make it muddy, but we always keep our dens very clean. I'd wet my feet if I came to visit, I promise. Then come on down. Now, Stinky, does this mean you like warthogs now? You do like warthogs, don't you, Stinky? Like warthogs? I love warthogs. They're beautiful. Just look at them. They got a cool tail that stands up in the air. They've got those great tusks and all that mud. Well, thanks for telling us about warthogs. Yeah, and mud. And now it's time for Bernice to sing a song. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> okay, bye. And now here's Bernice with the warthog song. Yeah. Everyone is beautiful to 
someone. Nobody is ugly to us all. Though you may have a face that's really a disgrace. I bet you got a place that you can call your home. There really is no reason to be lonely. Just because you've got a hairy tongue. Cause everyone is beautiful to someone. Especially if that someone is your mom. Oh, everyone is beautiful to someone. Nobody is totally bizarre. I think you're pretty not. Well, okay, you're weird, so what? Just be proud of what you've got and what you are. There's someone out there now who truly loves you. Who believes that you're as lovely as they come. Yes, everyone is beautiful to someone. Even if that someone is your mom and dad. Oh, even if that someone is your mom. A great song, Bernice. Thanks, Bernice. See you in the mud, boys. And now it's time to find out who won today's Animal Awards. Take it away, Ollie and Armstrong. It's time for... Animal Awards! Today we find out which animal has the biggest tusks. Yeah, and won't that be fun? Mm-hmm. Will it be... Oh, the African elephant. Right, or the walrus. Yeah, or uh, the Indian elephant. Mmm. Yeah. In third place is the walrus. In second place, the Indian elephant. And that <laughs> means the animal award for biggest tusks goes to the African elephant. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, and uh, brush after every meal. Mm. And now it's time for a story about uh, 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 mud. No. Oh, uh, well, let me, don't tell me. Uh, mussels. No. Okay, okay. Uh, warthogs? Oh, you'll never get it. <laughs> Walruses. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a walrus named Wendy. Now, the only problem Wendy had in her walrus life was that she was always late. And the problem with that problem is that if a walrus is late, it's almost impossible to find the perfect place to sunbathe. It's tough, but that's how it is. Is this my perfect place, said Wendy, one day when she was late as usual. Sorry, said her friend Duncan Walrus, but this is my perfect place. So Wendy kept looking. She wanted to find her perfect place before the sun went down. Well, what about here, she asked, accidentally putting her tusk into somebody's back. Ouch, said Angus Walrus. I'm sorry, Wendy, but you're too late for this perfect place. So Wendy kept looking. She looked till she reached the edge of the beach. She was about to end up in the water when she found her perfect place. I saved it for you, said her friend Jill. I knew you'd be late. So the two of them spent the rest of the day sunbathing together, and it was perfect. Ooh. The end. Gee, I hope those walruses didn't get too sunburned. <laughs> it's tough to be a pink walrus. Mm, I'm sure it is. Boy, well, you look tired, Fred. Yeah, I, I think we should say our prayers and go to bed, and then tomorrow we'll get up really early and go over to the circus and we'll have fun, okay? Armstrong, who are you talking to? Oh, oh this is Fred. <gasps> you brought along a friend oh, for be, be careful, be, don't, don't, be careful. Hello, Fred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're tired. We're, we're going to go to bed now. <gasps> yes, that's yeah. right. We are. We're going to the sea. Bed. No, no, not the she bed, our bed, because we're tired and we're going to bed. Oh, wait a minute, what's up? What? <gasps> Fred says he wants to go to the sea bed too. Did, did you say that, Fred? He did. No, Come he on, did. Fred. We're hey, all going to that? the sea bed. Hey, 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 it looks like the moon down here. Hey, hey, what, what is that uh, we're chasing? Uh, hey, it's a hey. hermit crab. Oh. Uh, the sandy seabed provides hey. food and shelter to many hey. animals that burrow. Oh. Look, that oh. crab is burying itself in the sand, see? Oh, yeah. Uh. Boy. Ooh. Oh, 
and where the seabed is rocky, yeah. kelp grows. Oh. Kelp is a kind of seaweed, and it feeds and shelters a whole bunch of animals like those anemones. Yeah, well, uh, you have to admit, chicken hawks are a lot easier on the eyes than an octopus. Speaking of eyes, look at all the eyes on this clam. Whoa. Clams have tentacles which they use like whiskers, and when something touches one of them, they slam shut. They use their eyes to see danger coming. Oh, yeah, like what kind of danger? Like walruses or an octopus. But because a crab can see an octopus coming, it has to hide. Hiding places are very important on the bottom of the sea. Yeah, well, I'd hide too if I looked like that. Hey, is this guy trying to hide too? Sort of. Hermit crabs spend their lives hidden away in shells which other animals have left behind. Huh, whoa. Who? <laughs> hey, you know, I wonder if they could find a shell big enough for me. You know, something with a nice cozy bed, hmm. you know, a couple end tables. Oh, yes. You know, like a nice wall, you know, where I could put my my books, my CDs, Ooh, the television, you know, oh. everything, the stereo. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. But did you know that when hermit crabs get bigger, they have to search for bigger and bigger shells? Oh, I get it. This guy is house hunting. Hey, hey, good luck, buddy. You know, I hear this is a very good neighborhood if you happen to like living in seabeds. Oh, now there's a good-looking guy. You think so? I think he looks a little crabby. Get it? Crabby! <laughs> oh, you're a regular riot. Oh, what is that? A fish or a bug? It's a fish, Armstrong. A red gurnard, to be exact. Some of its fins are like little legs, so it can walk across the bottom of the sea looking for burrowing animals to dig up and eat. Uh. This is Ollie and Armstrong. Oh, and Fred the Bear. Just back from the seabed. Did mm. you have a good time, Fred? Well, yes, you did, but we're very tired now. Well, you can always sleep in tomorrow. Oh, no, we're going to circus tomorrow. <gasps> Thank you for inviting me. Ah, time for Tizzy. Follow me and we'll get busy. Oh, we're going to get the answer this time, Tizzy. Yeah, it might not be the right answer, but <laughs> we're sure going to try. Here <laughs> comes. Guess what happens next? Give it a think. I'll be back in a moment. I have no idea. No, me neither. Uh, got the answer, Stinky and uh, Jake? No. Not even the wrong one. Take another look. Oh, good. Uh, uh, here's that flounder. What happens next? Watch. <gasps> Dinner time. Believe it, because it's true. Thank you, Dizzy, for another great quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. And merci to you, Eve. Mm. Au revoir. And a special thanks to our two beautiful guests, mm. Bubba the Walrus and Bernice the Warthog. Oh, farewell, Jake. Goodbye, Stinky. Yes. <laughs> and to all you animals out there, until next time. Keep on flapping, swimming, hopping. And seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya. So long. So long.